Welcome back to my class. Today, we will discuss part 1 of lesson 1.2, Collection of Data. In this lesson, we will discuss the different levels of measurement. We will also define what is data and the different kinds of data. We will also discuss the different methods of data collection. There are four levels of measurements. The nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Nominal and ordinal are qualitative or categorical variables, while interval and ratio are quantitative or numerical variables. Nominal is the lowest level, while ratio is the highest level of measurement. Nominal is a categorical variable in which no order or ranking is imposed in the data. Example of this is the gender. You cannot say that a male is better than female or female is better than male. Ordinal is also a categorical variable but can be classified into ranks. Example, qualitative equivalence of your grade. We have the excellent very satisfactory, satisfactory, or fair. The data is classified into rank since we could say that student who has a grade of excellent is better than a student who has a grade of satisfactory. Interval is a quantitative or numerical variable. The number zero in interval, interval scale is arbitrary. The common example is the temperature. The zero degree Celsius temperature doesn't imply an absence of temperature. Rather, it has a meaning, that is, a zero degree Celsius is a freezing point. Ratio is also a quantitative or numerical variable. Unlike the interval, ratio scale defines the number zero as absence of the characteristics. Example. The number of cars in a parking lot. When we say zero, meaning there is no car in a parking lot. You might be wondering what is the difference between a variable and a data. In this discussion, data refers to facts and figures from which a conclusion can be drawn. Data also refers to a set of values that are usually organized by the variable. A variable is the interest of the study that is being measured. There are two types of data, qualitative data and quantitative data. Qualitative data is non-numerical. It can be observed and recorded through observation, interviews, and other similar methods. While quantitative data describe numeric variables, Quantitative data are used when a researcher is trying to quantify a problem. There are two sources of data, primary data and secondary data. Primary data is data that is collected from a first-hand sources using methods like surveys, interviews, or experiments. While secondary data is data that is collected by someone other than the user or researcher. Common sources of this data include censuses, information from government agencies, organizational records, and others. In our discussion, we will include five methods of data collection. The first method is a direct or interview. An interview is a conversation where one participant asks questions and the other provides answers. There are three ways on how to conduct the record interview. The first is the structured interview method. Structured interview is when all questions are prepared in advance. In structured interview, the interviewer asks a set of predetermined questions. The second is the semi-structured interview method. In semi-structured interview, the interviewer asks only a few predetermined questions, while the rest of the questions are not planned in advance, meaning interviewer asks more open-ended questions, allowing for a discussion with the interviewee rather than a direct question-and-answer format. The third 
Direct or interview method is the unstructured interview method. In the unstructured interview, the interviewer asks questions that are not prepared in advance. The second method of data collection is the indirect or the use of questionnaire. In this method, the researcher makes use of a written questionnaire. A questionnaire is a research instrument consisting of a series of questions and other prompts to gather information from respondents. The third is the registration. This method is commonly applied by private organizations and government agencies for recording purposes. The fourth is the observation. Observation is a way of collecting data through observing. It can be classified as participatory study since the researcher has to immerse himself to the setting where his respondents are while taking notes or recording. The fifth method of data collection is the experimentation. Experimental method involves the manipulation of variables to establish cause and effect relationship. There are three types of experimentation. The first is the laboratory or controlled experiment. It is an experiment conducted in a well-controlled environment. A controlled experiment is a scientific test that is directly manipulated by a researcher to test a single variable at a time. The second experimentation is a field experiment. In this method, the researcher manipulates the independent variable but in a real-life setting, meaning the researcher cannot control extraneous variables. The third experimentation is the natural experiment. Natural experiment is an empirical study where individuals are exposed to the experimental and control conditions that are determined by the other factors outside the control of the researcher. This is the end of part 1 of lesson 1.2. Stay tuned for the part 2 of lesson 1.2.